So in this video, I'll be telling you about a Game of Thrones editions that are mass market paperback and hardcover. So these are the three editions that are available in the market. So I thought let's make a comparison video like I did for the Stormlight Archive a few months back. So if you haven't checked that video, you'll find the link in the description box below. So let's start with this video wherein I'll be telling you pros and cons of each of these editions. And in the end, I'll tell you which one will give you the best value. So let's start with the mass market paperback. Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. I hope everyone is doing absolutely fine. For those who know my channel, I am Divya and you will find book reviews, unboxings, vlogs and a lot many other fun stuff related to books and fandom. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, you can hit the subscribe button. And now let's start with this video. So not only three different editions, but I have three different books from the series in this video. So the first one is a Game of Thrones that I'm having in hardcover. The second one is paperback that is a Clash of Kings. And the third one is a Storm of Swords that I'm having in a mass market paperback. So this is a thousand plus page of a book, but you don't really see them that big because it's a mass market paperback and that is one of those like good things about mass market paperbacks that they don't like normally are big books and though it's thousand plus page i'm holding it in the hand like quite easily so that is one of those things and for the size like you can see it's close to my size of my palm so talking more about like pros of these books so as i've said they are easy to hold so that means you can quite easily read them anywhere and these are not really heavy so if you are into like traveling or something like that if you travel in metros or bus then this book will be for you you can quite easily read them in buses metros or maybe in your own transport and that is one good thing about these editions so talking more about the pros for mass market paperback especially like a game of thrones mass markets so one of those things is for fantasy genre fans because whenever we read books on mass market that enhances the experience i don't know how many of you will agree with me but i read wheel of time books on mass market then i read like stormlight book one on mass market like that was a reread but i enjoyed it on my mass market paper edition and that is one of those things that every fantasy fan will like agree with me that uh, mass market enhances the reading experience and the reading speed also increases while reading books fantasy books on mass market paperbacks now that is for me but i believe most of the fantasy fans will agree with me so those were the pros of these editions that is a mass market paperback though i'll compare text at the end of this video while comparing it with hardcover and like paperbacks but uh, those were the pros and talking about like cons for the same one of the things that i don't like about mass market paperback especially a game of thrones mass market paperback is that they're not easily available in the market that means they are costly than paperbacks and paperbacks are quite easily available in the markets and mass market paperbacks are, are not and even if they are available in market you'll find them for like 500 600 bucks but looking at the quality for the same, I believe 200 to 50 is a great price range for a Game of Thrones mass markets or maybe any other mass markets of any other fantasy books respective like these are printed here in India, I believe. So this would be like priced on a lower end, but I don't like the price range as I've said and talking more about the same like cons. So the spine again on mass market breaks and in some time you will find these spines like after one read you will find the spine like in this u shape and they'll be all broken up so if you are into like uh, safeguarding all those spines of your books then don't go for mass market paperbacks because that will be the end results for your book like uh, my copy of the fountainhead the spines almost gone so talking more about text size so mass market paperbacks usually have like text smaller than other editions but in this edition it's perfectly like fine so as you can see the text size here Though I like compare the text size of all the three books that is hardcover paperback and mass market paperback at the end of this video but looking at the like uh, text size for the same it's properly fine like extremely fine because in the fountain head you will find like uh, the text size too small but that's not the case with a game of thrones books. So as you can see the fountain head is having too small text but that's not the case in game of thrones paperbacks that is mass market paperbacks and that is one good thing i believe the text quite easily can be read so that was about mass market paperback and let's jump to the paperback and let's see what are the pros and cons for those editions so i am having this a class of kings game of thrones editions by harper collins and as you can see the quality of the book is amazing quite amazing so this is the edition that i got from like harper collins warehouse sale 
for so less like 25 bucks for this book and that was too back it's like long back and i am just missing that sale but anyhow this is the book and it's in a perfect quality as you can see so one thing about paperback game of thrones paperback is that they are quite easily available in the market as you can see it's the hbo original edition so you'll find like these things in these editions so this these are like these editions are quite easily available and that too in affordable range like 300 350 you will find these editions and that will go lower than that in sales like i bought two game of thrones books in flipkart sale a couple of years back and that was for 160 or maybe 100 bucks for each book and that was one good sale so be on the lookout for that if you want paperback they are quite easily available and there are so many options and so many covers for that matter so that is one of those things i like about paperback so i was talking about spines in mass market paperbacks so the spine here in paperback is quite flexible as you can see i'm bending it too much but it's not breaking and that's one good thing about like harper collins paperbacks because the spine is quite flexible it's kind of similar on the lines of like trade paperback that you may have seen by other authors or something like that but that is one good thing and they are quite easy to read like you can quite easily read them though i'm not too sure if you will be able to read these books in public because they are big though it's not heavy but uh, you may need to get some space to carry these books so those were the few like pros for these editions that is paperback of a game of thrones and that was a class of kings and let's see what are the things that i don't like about these editions so i already covered the point that i wanted to talk about in cons and that was related to traveling so i covered that one in my pros section so one of the other things is that like so many movie times are available for a game of thrones editions that too in paperback so if you are not a big fan of movie tie ins cover then don't go for paperback because you will find this as you can see the red strip over here it says hbo and all those things related to movie or tv series so there are so many tv series books available for game of thrones and that too in paperback like the book one had all the faces for like faces of characters from this like series of a game of thrones and we all know like tv series like already released and all the seasons are done but you will still find all those editions and i'm not a big fan of mtis in particular and that's the reason i don't buy them too often so if you're not into mtis i would suggest you to go for box set and the paperbacks changes on a rapid change like you will find so many different editions for paperbacks like uh, this edition is not quite easily available right now because black ones came like seven editions for black and that's the box set available so i'll say like go ahead with like box set so that your all editions look similar to each one each other so yeah that is one of those things that i wanted to talk about in this paperback part so i have so many points related to hardcover for a game of thrones so i'll be telling one at a time so this is the hardcover which is an illustrated edition which is having so many illustrations in between like maybe 50 or 100 illustrations i'm not sure about the same but you will be finding one at the start of each chapter and then six colored illustrations are there as well so those six color edition let me find one for you so like you can see the colored edition here colored illustration so this is the illustrator edition so one of the best things about this edition is that it is for those people who don't like reading books that are not having illustrations now i'm talking about those people who are a big fan of game of thrones but can't really read those big books without illustrations so i would suggest you go for this book though it's like uh, on a higher end like it's costly but for you it will be a collector's edition i can say surely say that because these are 20th anniversary edition and illustrations are something that really helps in big books and that too for non-readers so that is one of those things like if you want to read illustrated edition this one's for you and if you are a fan of game of thrones then go for it one of the other things that i like about these editions is that there's no dust jacket as you can see it's a hardcover from the very start that means you don't need to take care of dust jacket like whenever i read like any book on a hardcover i used to take care of that dust jacket i used to keep it away for a while and then used to read with bare hardback so that can be never a problem with these editions like there is no dust jacket and that's one great thing so yeah i just have two more points related to this edition so one of those things is related to bookmarks so you will find this ribbon bookmark in this book and that can be quite handful for those who are into bookmarks or those who actually don't remember pages after reading of after reading a book after a while so yeah bookmarks is a great plus point and other thing is that you will never get bored while reading a game of thrones in this edition because the chapters are short 
like they are not too big 15 20 pages at max maybe some chapters are 30 40 pages but the chapters are too small and after each chapter you'll find one illustration so you will never get bored while reading this book and that's one great thing i loved it because i read it on this edition only so yeah those were the pros for this edition of a game of thrones that is an illustrated one that is a hardcover but i also have one like uh, normal hardcover for a game of thrones will be showing you after like discussing all the cons related to this book so i have a different kind of uh, game of thrones book that is having that dust jacket i was talking to you about so let's talk about the cons first and then we'll jump to that edition so one of the things is related to cost factor like this book is very costly and that's the reason i will not recommend it to the new readers or maybe for the existing readers because new readers who are into game of thrones tv series can pick this book because of the illustrations you will be having a collector's item with you but for those who are like into books and haven't like heard of game of thrones haven't seen the tv series are not a big fan of game of thrones and then i will not recommend you to go for these editions because what if you read 150 pages of this edition and it, and then you don't like this book because it is related to like uh, this is priced at high end like 1k for this big book and i don't want you to spend too much on game of thrones book and in the end dnfing these books will not yield you anything i would suggest if you are an existing reader go for the game of thrones tv series watch it see if you like the tv series and then get this edition or maybe read it on mass market or maybe like paperback edition for the same and then go through 100 200 pages and then buy this edition because uh, yeah some people don't like fantasy quite often and this is quite detailed book and george r, r. martin detailed everything in these books and maybe why a fantasy fans will not like this my own like uh, that can be my own opinion but uh, yeah that is one of those things so final point that i consider as a con for this book is you can't really stand and read this book or while sitting as well because you will need to keep it down at certain areas maybe on your legs or if you are reading it while lying down that can be pretty great but uh, this is like quite heavy and it will be a quite task for you to read this book and no way you can read this book in public but if you pull that up big thumbs up from my side but that's quite impossible for me actually to read this book in crowded metro maybe a bus a thousand close to 900 pages of a book and 100 pages or so are of illustrations so it's a heavy book let's jump to the normal edition of a game of thrones though i'm not having one from the series but i'm having fire and blood that is having dust jacket so we'll be quickly showing you because all the other hardcovers are on the similar lines so Let's quickly see that book first and then we'll be giving my views on the text and all those things and we'll be telling you which edition you should go for. So I don't know if you are catching all those sound of crackers but there's some wedding going on around my neighborhood so that can be a problem. I hope this mic is not catching all those sound but sorry in advance. So this is the book which is a Game of Thrones, not a Game of Thrones related but George R.R. Martin's book related to like, uh, I think this is on Targaryens. So this is the book Fire and Blood and as you can see it is having that dust jacket. So all the other editions related to this Game of Thrones are available in this binding and the editions are white. I will leave the pics on your screen right now. So these are the editions that uh, you will find a lot and these are like priced on a higher end because hardcovers always are priced on a higher end. So you will find these type of editions similar to this and uh, this is the illustrated edition again but i'll not be showing you not going much in that detail but you will find the dust jackets like this and uh, those will be plain so this is the edition which is quite similar to the how hardbound i showed you all but uh, it will be having a dust jacket so if you are into like having dust jackets on your books then go for this type of edition you will find all the five books on amazon i have seen it in india as well so those white editions are quite easily available some are priced at 800 or something or some are priced at like 1200 something so that can be your personal choice but i won't recommend you to go for this hard bounce because paperbacks are quite easily available and would recommend you to go for that editions We're comparing it with paperback first and then we'll be showing you at once like hardcover font size this is the difference between paperback and mass market paperback as you can see the difference is not that big and you can see actually like the size is quite on the similar lines and that is one great thing because mass market paperbacks having too small font 
can be like quite hard to read this is the text size in hardcover edition so that was it i told you all the reasons related to all these books whether you should get these books that is up to you i have told you like pros and cons for each of these editions now you can be your own judge but if you, i have to like recommend any book i'll say like go for paperbacks i have all the paperbacks with me there one two three four five so i have five paperbacks with me so i would recommend you to go for paperbacks because they are quite easily available at least here in india you will find paperbacks more than mass markets and hard covers and that can be a great thing and the price range is amazing like you don't normally find fantasy books around 300 350 range so if you are getting game of thrones books in that price range then go for it if you want to read them asap but i would recommend you to wait for a while because flipkart sales usually comes in the second half of the year and then you can find like quite good discounts on books you will find game of thrones books around 150 or 200 bucks as well so that was my like review of all these three editions now you can be on own judge as i've said and do, do check out my stormlight like stormlight related video wherein i compared mass market paperback and art cover for the same so that was all for this video i hope you liked it and if you have any other question related to these editions do comment down below and i'll leave all the links for these books in the description box below just click on them and you will find all these books so that was all for this video i hope you liked it and if you did you can hit the like button you can comment down below as i've said and ask me anything related to these editions or anything in general related to books and we'll be coming up with new videos very soon you can follow me over my social media handles are here and yeah that was all stay healthy stay home stay safe and bye bye